I teach sewing and crafts at the library and today I'm going to show you how to tie dye with bleach. So I'm wearing one of the shirts that I made now. I also made this one and we're also going to try this method on some plain fabric as well. This is a great alternative to tie dye in times like these because you probably already have the supplies at your house. I know I just grabbed a couple old t-shirts in the back of my closet and we already had bleach. That's most of what you need. Um, since we are working with bleach, I did want to talk about safety real quick. Please be careful. Um, please do this project outside to protect yourself from the fumes. Um, make sure that you're wearing gloves and make sure that you wear some clothes that you don't care about because they might get bleach on them. So let's get started. For this project, you will need bleach, water, a tarp, a plastic bucket or tub, some rubber gloves, a squirt bottle, and some rubber bands. You'll also need some 100% cotton fabric to bleach. So I'm using just some plain fabric um, and then some pattern fabric. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Um, I just wanted to experiment, so we'll see. And then I also have a lighter colored t-shirt and then a dark colored t-shirt. Next, you'll want to mix your bleach. So you're gonna mix it with some water at a one-to-one -one ratio. Pour that in your squirt bottle and then give it a shake. Next, um, you're going to want to fold your fabric. So there's a ton of different uh, methods to do this. It's pretty easy to find them on the internet. Um, for the first one, I did an accordion fold. Next, I'm trying to create some circular patterns on this shirt. For the next one, I just crumpled it up and put a rubber band around it. Um, the purple fabric is going to be like a traditional spiral pattern. And for this last one, I folded it at a diagonal and then I accordion folded it. Next, you're going to want to completely soak your fabric with water. This is just going to help that bleach penetrate into all those layers of fabric. Next, hold your fabric over the bucket and squirt some bleach on it. Um, and then you can squeeze the fabric just to help the bleach get into kind of the center layers. This is my fabric um, after I dyed it. It's not um, gonna necessarily show um, the color change right away. So once they've sat for 10 minutes, you can see that I'm now rinsing out um, my fabric and removing the rubber bands. Um, the fumes started to bother me in here, so you could have done this outside. Just make sure if you do that that you collect all that bleachy water and pour it down your bathtub um, just so that we don't get any bleach in the soil. After this step, you're going to put your fabric through the washer and dryer as normal. Now that all my material has been washed and dried, I just wanted to show you guys my results and kind of talk about what happened because I ended up with kind of a wide variety of outcomes. So this is the purple shirt. Um, this definitely got the most bleach on it. I think that's because um, when I folded it, it wasn't um, folded super tight and I also squeezed it quite a bit. So I think that really helps the bleach penetrate. Um, but yeah, I think it looks great. There's even some spots that are like pure white. Um, so this one turned out awesome. I really enjoy it. This is the darker shirt that I did. And I also really like how this one turned out. Um, you can see these kind of circles are where I had rubber bands, but I also just kind of sprayed bleach on it randomly. Um, so I like this one as well. The fabric is where we have kind of different results. So the purple fabric turned out the best. Um, it's overall a more subtle change than I was expecting, um, but I still think that it was a success and it looks really nice. Um, you can see on the edges, I think these orange spots are where um, there was more bleach, um, but even in the center of the fabric, um, you can see that bleach penetrated. So I like this one a lot. 
So then I was pretty surprised by how this pink fabric turned out. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but there is just a really subtle change. Um, I did add a fair amount of bleach to this, so I'm not really sure why it's cotton just like all the other fabrics that I use. So this is kind of a mystery to me. Um, as well as the pattern fabric. Um, you can see there's some spots that got just a little bit lighter. Um, overall, it kind of stayed the same. But yeah, if anyone has success with um, bleaching a pattern fabric, I would love to see your results. Um, again, not really sure why this happened, but that's okay. It's all about experimenting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I hope you have fun dyeing your own shirts and fabric, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!